Hello everyone, welcome back to Bio School. This is Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to learn about gene interactions. So this is a basic part. At the end of this session, we are going to have a clear idea about what is gene interaction. And uh, you know, the gene interaction, it is a non-Mendelian type of inheritance. So what is the difference between Mendelian law of inheritance and the non-Mendelian inheritance? As well as you are going to get a clear idea about interallelic gene interactions, also the types of gene interactions. So let's begin. According to Mendelian laws of inheritance, characters are governed by a single gene. But later on, later on it was realized that there are many characters which are governed by two or more genes. So, this is a type of non-Mendelian inheritance. So, according to Mendelian law of inheritance, the single character or the characters are governed by single gene. Okay, But later on, realized that, that the many characters are there which are governed by two or more genes. That is known as the non-Mendelian inheritance. So, gene interaction it is a type of non-Mendelian inheritance, okay? And this leads to modification of typical dihybrid ratio. So, what is the dihybrid ratio, the phenotypic dihybrid ratio? It is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So, how can we define gene interaction? Gene interaction, it is a phenomenon of two or more genes okay so for a development of a single character two or more genes are involved according in non-mendelian inheritance so the gene interaction it defines it is a phenomenon of two or more genes interaction okay and they are interacting with each other in such a way that they affect the expression of each other in the development of a single character in an organism Okay. So, in simple word, I can say that two or more genes lead to a single phenotype. In gene interaction, the two or more genes, they interact with each other and they affect their expression in such a way that that leads to the development of a single phenotype in an organism. Okay. And in gene interaction, you will find deviation in dihybrid cross ratio okay you know in the living organism the most of the characters are actually controlled by by combinations of several genes okay and there are two types of gene interactions are there so what are the kinds of gene interaction there are two kinds of gene interactions one is known as intra allelic gene interaction and the second one is known as inter allelic gene interaction so from the name you can know that what it exactly means okay so intra allelic gene interaction that means it is the gene interaction between the alleles of a single gene so now what is inter allelic gene interaction in inter allelic gene interaction it is the genetic interaction or the gene interaction between the alleles of one gene with alleles of other gene so if you want to know what is allele the basic terms then i do have a video on that so please go through that video and if you like my lectures then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel so let's know some of the inter allelic gene interaction what we are going to discuss in our upcoming sessions so what are the inter allelic gene interaction types Let's say one is a complementary gene interaction, then supplementary gene interaction, and another example is a epistasis, which one is very important, right? So epistasis, it may be dominant epistasis, or it may be recessive epistasis. So this is the introduction part to know what exactly is gene interaction mean and how is it is uh, different from the. Uh, Mendelian's laws of inheritance and uh, in, and you know in gene interaction as I told you uh, before 
that it leads to the deviation of dihybrid cross ratio okay though the dihybrid phenotypic ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 here it has a um, deviated and in complementary gene interaction you will find the ratio is 9 is to 7 similarly in supplementary gene interaction the ratio it will be 9 is to 3 is to 4 dominant epistasis you will find the ratio it will be 12 is to 3 is to 1 whereas in a recessive type of epistasis uh, its ratio is uh, 9 is to 3 is to 4 okay so in, um, so in our upcoming sessions we are going to discuss in details about ease of these inter allelic uh, gene interaction in details uh, with examples so guys um, please stay connected so bye bye see you in my next video until then keep learning